I know I say it a lot, but I don't think you can really ever say it often enough. The fact is, what happens to people over the course of time is failure. And that failure results in learning. They learn things as a result of their error, as a result of their mistakes. One of the things that I learned is how to spend a little bit more re reasonably, realistically, and quite frankly, um, in ways that I never would have thought of when I was younger. And that's what I want to talk about today on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. And that is how I spend and why. Uh, this is, as I say, the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt. And today is Sunday, the 12th of December of 2021. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble and the podcast and on YouTube. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. Today's subject, as I say, is going to be how I spend and why. And I'm going to go ahead and very quickly go through my notes so that you can have some idea what actually brought on what I'm talking about today and where I'm sort of going with it. There's a set of ideas about spending that was advanced by Mr., I don't know, maybe Dr. Milton Friedman. The point is Milton Friedman, the known, well-known economist. Uh, it involves a set of scenarios. The first is spending my money on me. The second is spending my money on others. The third is spending others' money on me and the obvious final situation is spending other people's money on a third party. Friedman maintained that the only circumstance under which people were prone to spend wisely is the first, that is, uh, spending my money on myself. Uh, excuse me, I lost my place for a second there. Um, his reasoning seems sound on the face of it. In fact, I'd certainly say that even for many, most, private individuals, it may well be valid. Even if not, it is fair to say government spending, tax money, spend other people's money on third parties, is almost certainly the worst of all worlds. In my mind, Mr. Friedman's logic is pretty good. When government collects money from one party and spends it on another, you can pretty much bet they won't even care how the money is finally apportioned. It's all about optics. We took money from those nasty rich folks, which is not true most of the time, to spend it on you people who aren't so well endowed monetarily, which is also not true as it turns out in the long run if you look at it. Here's the thing. There are those among us who absolutely do not spend like government does, even if it's other people's money spent on yet others. My perspective is virtually the exact opposite of how Friedman contended I would do things. In my way of thinking, if I want others to trust me to do right, I have to act that way. That means get the best thing I can Yes, even for a third party, but spend the least amount of money possible to do so. There's actually some limitations to that, but anyway, generally that's true. Going back to what I said earlier, though, you should never expect such a way of doing things from most folks. Less yet should you expect good behavior in that regard out of government or even business. Nonetheless, believe it or not, I want to be careful with what I am entrusted with by others. I want to be equally careful in how I buy for third parties as how I would for myself. If that sounds strange to you, maybe you ought to do some serious thinking about how you'd like others to treat you in either situation. Look, okay, done with my notes, as you may imagine. Here's the thing that I want for you to understand. When people entrust you with spending their money, their intent is the best possible goodwill. You may not think so, but the best possible goodwill in the process. They're not doing that because, well, sometimes they, they're doing it because they want people to get off their back or whatever, but most of the time what they're trying to do is get people to think better of them. That's what they're trying to do. When I spend my money or other people's whether on myself or on someone else, it's a sign of character for me. I don't really care what the optics look like. I'm going to do the best thing that I can for that other person, whatever it happens to be. If I have 
leftover food and I'm eating at the local fast food joint and there's a homeless person there and I haven't touched the food, it's still in its wrapper or whatever, for whatever reason, I'm likely to leave it and let them know that it's there. This is how strongly I believe in the idea of investing in other people even if you're spending yet a third person's money in doing it. Now, the only reason I really want to spend a third person's money uh, or one person's money on another person is if that's something that they have decided is a good idea. The, the person who gives me, not from whom I take, but who gives me the money to spend on somebody else. Years ago now, my mama had her 80th birthday and I have a brother who could not be there. But what he did was he said, I'm going to give you X amount of money and I want you to spend it making a memorable, 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 excuse me, birthday for our mother. And my answer to that was not to say, how can I get over on this? My answer on that was not to say, what can I keep of this for myself or spend of this on myself. My answer was, I'm going to do the absolute level best thing that I can do to make my mother's experience the best that it can be. And fortunately, the people who were with me, the person who was with me at the time, pretty much assented to that line of reason, that idea. So that's what we did. We made it our business to make the best possible experience. And not just in terms of the money, but in terms of time span and in terms of uh, how we treated uh, that individual who, uh, by the way, I always tried to treat well anyway. She's my mom. How can you not? But my point is, She's not the only person that I'm going to do that sort of thing for. My attitude is this. If somebody invests money in a process where a third party is going to get benefit out of that or is supposed to get benefit out of that, even if I'm not in great financial shape myself, guess what? I'm still going to make it my business to invest in that third party, not in myself. It isn't for me that I'm doing that thing. It is for them without doubt or question. So that's how I'm going to invest. I agree. I, I want to make it clear that I agree with Mr. Friedman's perspective. Look, when you give government or business or even other individuals money and say, spend this on that person, a lot of the time they're not going to care exactly how that money gets spent. They did what they felt like they were supposed to do. That's all that mattered to them. And I get that perspective, but my answer is that's really a bad way to do business and to live life. Your job, your task when you're either given money by somebody else to spend or spending money on a third, uh, on a second individual, either you're spending it on a third party, you're taking it from one, taking it from one, giving it to another, uh, spending it on, a, on, on that other, you know, uh, your task, in my opinion, should be to make sure that you spend that money in the best possible way. And part of that is to be what a lot of people term a good steward of the money for in the in the stead of the person who gave the money to you. So where I agree with Mr. Friedman's idea, I want to point out to you that you have the opportunity to be the better person in those circumstances. Now, i believe a lot of people are just not going to do that. And I get that. But my perspective is sensible, sane, reasonable, rational human beings should see the sense in what I'm saying and should act accordingly. This is what I would like for people to understand and what I would like for you to get. And another thing, like I say, you want people to spend wisely on you. You want people to spend your money wisely that you give that to them for someone else. I have a a thing for you to consider, and that is you should do the same. Because if you don't expect people to behave in reasonable, rational, sane, proper ways, then how on earth can anybody expect the same thing of you? You're assenting to madness. That's what's going on there. You can like that. You can dislike it. It's the reality. So what I'm saying to you today is maybe it's true that governments, businesses, and a lot of individuals will not spend other people's money wisely on a third person as far as I'm concerned, you'll never find me trying to do otherwise. Uh, I need to go ahead and wrap up. This is a daily summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Curtin. Today is Sunday, the 12th of December of 2021. Uh, it is that beginning of the Christian week. Tomorrow will be the beginning of the work week. That is Monday, the 13th of December of 2021. Uh, 
Thank you for everyone who's been here on Rumble on the podcast and on YouTube. Uh, remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. You can give me a uh, boxing glove or a plus on Rumble if you like what you what you see me to be doing. You can give me a minus if you have a problem with it or you don't like it for whatever reason. You can give me a, a thumbs up on YouTube if you like what I'm doing. You can give me a thumbs down or a dislike there if you don't like what I'm doing as well. Remember, on any platform where I post my content, if it's possible for you to reply or respond, uh, I will do everything that I can to look at whatever comments are put out there so that I know what you're thinking, and I will respond if I think that it's a reasonable thing to do. Subject for today has been how I spend and why, and tomorrow we're going to talk on that subject that they're currently trying to push in abortion and not interested in pushing in uh things like the COVID vaccines and similar, and that is bodily autonomy, which I think is a reasonable thing in some senses, and I think you cannot argue in certain others. But again, we'll get into that in more detail tomorrow. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope everything is going well for you and continues to do so. And I would love it if I would see you again uh, on Monday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Sunday the 12th of December of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with a with an S dot kpshubert.com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert.com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.